Time to know why. Remember that the gradient on a velocity time graph is the acceleration. Let's analyze the velocity time graph given in the question. Initially, the gradient is at a maximum. This means that the acceleration is also at a maximum. As time passes, the gradient becomes zero. At this point, the acceleration is also zero. After a while, the gradient becomes negative, meaning that the acceleration also becomes negative. Join the points on the acceleration time graph to find your answer. I'll see you in the next one.